Right, so I'm just going to fly a little just to show off that I'm a worthy uh, of the pilot. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and land. That's the car garage right there. I'm gonna see if I can land right there. Uh, there it is. So, I'm going to fly very low, fly a bit out of my comfort zone, although this is still inside my comfort zone. And uh, yeah, it's flying like this, I don't have any problems with, and I do it really nice. But when I come into cities like this, with, uh, li with power cut lines and stuff, that's where I don't feel so safe. And as you see, I try to evade them, uh, the, the poles there. In case there's a power line in it. Now I'll slow down. I came very fast, so I'll do some side motion to get rid of that speed. So, and th uh, the reason I do this is so I don't have to fly so high up in the air. Although it might require it right now to get over them trees. Oh, stuck in the way. What I will do, I can land like this as well. So it's just a little short trip. And I don't want to fly over water, it's very flat and boring. Uh, this is a nice place to land, I guess. Let's fly over there. It's a bit longer, so watch out. There we go. Right, I'm gonna fly in between those uh, uh, those windmills over there just to show off a little. There were a large gap than I thought it was at first, so it's not really anything special. That's power lines, yeah, they are way too steep under there to fly under, so. Power lines are pretty tall, so I can just fly under them. Shit, that's a bit high up. I know there's lots of forest here, so it doesn't really matter if I come in so fast, because I have to uh, do some turning in a way. And on the head, you bad. Oh shit, that was a bit. <laughs> that was a bit of a fail. There you go, yeah. I still have some problems landing at small uh, places like this, in where I want to get it exactly on. And that is stuff that I constantly try to improve on whilst flying. There we go, I would say I'm happy with this. Uh, anything fun we can do in this area? Let me see. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's do a little lap around here. Ah, okay, there aren't that many threes that I thought it was, but still just show off a little. And if you, if you heard it in the background there, uh, you could hear uh, the chopper bending after. Uh, after the higher G's and this is the most this chopper can turn and, uh, 
Alright, uh, I don't really know what more to show off. I could try to show off with a damaged tail rotor, possibly. Yeah, okay, uh, it's damaged anyways. Uh, yeah, that's... Hmm. This isn't enough. Do I have any nades? No, I don't. This one isn't enough to damage it, so... Maybe there's anything in the chopper. Oh, there is an MX. I think that's enough. There you go, it's slightly damaged. I want to try to destroy it completely, though. Yeah, and there will be no editing here, so yeah, just so I want to show that it's the real deal. So sorry if it becomes a bit long, but that's how it is. But it's at least somewhat damaged, probably orange. No, it's right, right, that's good. So it should not stop. There we go, perfect. Right, uh, what's basically happening is that the helicopter will turn around because of uh, the main. Ro the main rotor uh, turning the chopper around and the more I spin uh, the more it will turn the less it spin uh, the less it will turn basically look now it's almost still because I'm going down right let's find a nice place to do something in try to go in there but what you have to do now is you have to do the spinny thing just to get up some momentum at around 200 grams an hour it will be absolutely flawless and you will not uh, find anything strange it's like the said order still working a bit <laughs> we're already there and okay, that was a lot faster than I thought as you see, as I'm going down now, um, it's barely spinning at all, which is really good. Um, so now it's just the one getting over there. I will spin a bit, but that's fine. Oh shit! Uh, oh, that's a nice place. Oh, these boxes. There we go. Landed. Um, yeah, I can't really fix this chopper I believe. I don't have a backpack so no can't fix it um well then I will just crash this chopper so and right now I'm just holding down the the right arrow key and down you see that it holds pretty much up in the air until I hit some trees uh, so restart all right So now I'm just going to do some final show off things. Uh, yeah, there's. I don't really know what more I can show to show that I'm a worthy pilot. Uh, and I think that if I weren't a worthy pilot, I would always crash. And hopefully, I've shown you that I don't crash that much. I rarely crash while actually flying on my comfort zone. So. This is more like just some plain acrobatics and I will just continue on until I crash. Basically. So nice little loop around this thing. Uh, let's let land on this roof without landing. And now I'm just going to do lots of random things until I eventually crash. Because I will crash uh, flying like this. So. But hopefully I will stay up long enough to show you guys that I'm worthy of flying.
Alright, let's fly really, really low. As low as I can. Oh, that's a problem. Well, that didn't go out too well <laughs> because it was too much in the way. Power lines. Uh, Pyros is a good thing to do stuff in. Kavala is even better because it's lots more high buildings. But uh, Pyros should do. Land in here. Whoa. Well, that's it. And I know I didn't have my landing gears out, and I was on purpose. So, until next time, I'll see ya.